Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss random board exam problem number 11. Our topic for today is geometry. This problem states that the area of a circle circumscribing about an equilateral triangle is 254.47 square meter. What is the area of the triangle in square meters? In this problem, we are given a circle circumscribing. Okay, so pag sinabi natin guys na circumscribing, ibig sabihin yung circle yung nasa labas, yung triangle here, yung equilateral triangle here ang nasa loob. So dalawa yung term natin, meron tayong inscribe. And meron tayong circumscribe. So, pag sinabing inscribe, So, pag sinabing inscribe, ibig sabihin nasa loob, yung in. Pag circumscribe, ibig sabihin nasa labas. So, yung figure natin dito, nasa labas yung circle, nasa loob ng circle, yung equilateral triangle. So, this is our figure for this problem. Okay, so yung area ng circle, etong circle na color blue, is 254.47 square meter. So, walang ibang given, kundi yung area ng circle, and of course, kung anong type of triangle, which is an equilateral triangle. So, equilateral, therefore, ibig sabihin nito, yung sides ng triangles are all equal. So, let's say, the sides of the triangle are, say, x, x, and we have here x. Okay, recalling the area for triangle, Okay, that is one half times the base times its height. Okay, so yung height niya is ito. This is the height. This is the height of the triangle unknown and the base is x. So therefore, yung area ng triangle is 1 half, yung base natin is x, and yung height natin, let's say, h. Okay, hanapin natin si x and h using this given. So, yung radius ng ating circle, so, the radius of the circle is, eto siya, from the center to any point on its circumference. Okay, so, this is r. Of course, from this point to the center of the circle, that is also radius, and this is also a radius. Okay. Now, using the formula for finding the area of the circle, we can actually find, okay, pwede nating mahanap yung radius ng circle. So that, pag nahanap na natin yung radius ng circle, we can actually apply the laws of triangle, cosine law or sine law, for finding etong base x or yung side yung length ng side ng equilateral triangle. Okay, let's find R. So, the formula for finding the area of the circle is that is pi times the square of the radius. Okay, given tayo ng area ng circle that is 254.47 square meter. Okay, find natin yung radius. So, R squared is equal to area ng circle, divide natin sa pi both sides. Then, take the square root of both sides, you have here r equals square root of area of circle divided by pi. Okay, this is equal to 254.47 square meter divided by pi, and that is all the square root. Okay, so you have here r. You can just use your calculator to solve this. Yung r, yung so the radius is approximately, you have here 9 meters. Ayan. So, nahanap na natin si R. We can actually find X. Okay? Okay, so let's just focus sa triangle dito. Itong triangle. So, nahati siya sa tatlo. So, this is an equilateral triangle. Ibig sabihin equal yung sides ng triangle na yan. And, uh, this central angle here, so, since one revolution siya, 360 degrees. Okay? So, itong full revolution na yan is 360 degrees. So, nahati siya sa tatlo. 
So therefore, this part angle here is, so 360 divided by 3. Okay, this angle here is 120. Okay, itong part na angle dito, this is 120 degrees. Okay, 120. Ito din, 120 siya. Ito din, 120 siya. So, a total of 360. So, let's just focus here dito sa triangle. Sa isang triangle lang. Okay, so here, we can actually use cosine law to solve this. Okay, kasi meron tayong R, meron din tayong angle that that is opposite to this uh, length x. Okay, recalling the uh, cosine law. Okay, so that is x squared equals. So, the sum of the squares of these two sides here. So, that is r squared. So, r plus, you have here another r. So, r squared minus 2 times the product of those two sides. Okay, we have here r times r. Then, cosine of that opposite angle to this x. So, that is cosine 120 degrees. Okay, so you have here x squared equals, so r squared plus r squared, that is 2r squared minus, you have here 2r squared times cosine 120 degrees. Ayan, factor out natin si 2r squared since common siya. So x squared equals, so 2r squared times the quantity 1 minus cosine 120 degrees. Ayan, so this is... Uh, factor na siya kasi itong 2r squared is common. So, find the square root of both sides. So, x is equal to the square root of 2r squared times the quantity 1 minus cosine 120 degrees. Okay, this is equal to the square root of 2 times r natin here is 9. So, 9 meters. So, we have here squared. So, times the quantity 1 minus cosine 120 degrees. So, make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode. So, x is equal to, so x here is 9 the square root of 3. That is meters. So, let's just find the height of the triangle. So, i-clear out lang natin yung triangle so that we can further see. Okay? Para makita natin yung uh, height natin. Okay, let's just erase this na. Okay, so this is the height of the triangle. So the height can be found using, of course, using trigonometry. Okay, so etong angle na to, since equilateral siya, equal siya sa 60 degrees. So always remember that the sum of the angles of a triangle is equivalent to 180 degrees. So since ito equilateral, therefore equal din yung mga sides niya. So 180 Divided by 3, that is 60 degrees. So, 60 degrees itong angle na to. So, 60 here. So, 60 naman dito. A total of 180 degrees. Okay, let's just focus here sa isang part ng triangle. Sa 1 half. So, that we can get H. Okay, so ito. Since nahate siya dito, this is equivalent to, itong kalahate dito, is equivalent to X over 2. Hinate natin. Okay. So, this whole length is x. So, pag hinate, x over 2. So, dito, pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean theorem to get h. So, remember that ito, naka-right angle siya. So, for Pythagorean theorem, yung hypotenuse natin is itong si x here. So, x squared. So, ito si hypotenuse. So, x squared. Square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the opposite side and the adjacent side. Okay. So, if this is the angle 60, the adjacent side is x over 2. So, x over 2 squared plus, you have here, the opposite, which is, ito yung opposite niya, that is h. So, h squared. So, use this equation to find h. Remember that, recall that we have now x. So, we can solve for h. So, we have here x squared is equal to x over 2 squared plus h squared. So, x squared equals, we have here x squared over 4. Okay, distribute the exponent. Then, we have here plus h squared. So, h squared is equal to 
x squared. Subtract tayo both sides ng x squared over 4. Okay, so minus x squared over 4. Ayan, so h squared is equal to. So pag combine natin siya, yung LCD niya is 4. So multiply tayo ng 4 over 4 dito. Ayan. Okay. So here we can combine that now. This is equivalent to. So 4x squared minus x squared. So 3x squared. So 3x squared copy the denominator. Okay, 4. 3x squared over 4. So this is equal to 3x squared over 4. Then we just get the square root of both sides. So h is equal to the square root of 3x squared over 4. Okay, let's just substitute x. We have here equals the square root of 3 times yung x natin. Recalling the value for x, that is 9 the square root of 3 meters. Okay, 9 the square root of 3 meters. We have here squared. Then we have here over 4. Okay, just simplify this. Input sa calculator. So we have here h as 13.5 meters. Okay, using this, we can get now the area. Simply input to the formula for area of triangle, that is 1 half base times the height. Okay, base natin here is x, etong buo. Then we have here the height h, input na lang tayo. So area of triangle is 1 half times the base x times the height. Okay, 1 half times x, x is 9 the square root of 3 meters and we have here h as 13.5 meters so the area of the triangle is equal to so we have here 105.22 okay the area of the triangle is 105.22 square meter so this is the final answer for this past board exam problem so let's go back to the problem Okay, for the height, meron tayong isa pang alternate solution for that. So, finding the height, you can actually use, okay, yung trigonometry natin. So, that is sine, let's say sine 60 degrees equals, you have here, uh, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, that is h over x. Okay, h is x sine 60 degrees. And we have your h equals, so x natin is, 9 the square root of 3 meters, okay, sine 60 degrees. That gives us, okay, that gives us the same value as 13.5 meters, okay? You can use that or you can use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? So either way, you will get the same answer. That's it guys for today's video. I hope that you have learned from this video. And if you're new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified on my future videos just like this one. You can also follow me on Facebook. That is facebook.com slash engineerprofph. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video.